welcome everyone. This is going to be a pretty packed episode. There's a lot going on from building diffuser, wing, the rear clamshell, or two guards either sides. There's quite a lot going on. I'm going to try and push through and make it a good video because this stuff happened over about a whole year. Obviously other things for the car were happening in between that time, but this has been quite a long process. And man, wait till the end and see how good it looks. Obviously here I have a drawing of a rough estimate of kind of what I wanted it to be. But hold on to the end and you'll see what, what it turns into. So first I built a big diffuser for the car. And if you don't know much about them, pro probably link in the bottom some, some cool videos to how good they are. My buddy Jake here helped me. We bent it up and welded in the sides, made it all work and then got it into the car all right so just finished welding that up and slid it into the back of the car here now as you can see it sticks out just a little bit more or a little bit less actually than the exhaust there and the tall center ducts start further back where this frame sort of starts further back and that flares out as well so I think that's looking pretty cool. So now, to carry on with the back, that's not mounted in yet, that'll come later. But the next piece I want to do is the wing along the back here. Now, this wing is going to be aesthetic and really just to hold some lights and things. Um, there's going to be no clean air coming through it to get any sort of aerodynamic benefit from it. So I didn't really go into too much testing of that. I did do some, and the wing was going to have to be way up here to do anything, and I'm not really into that. Just put a big diffuser on it instead, and hopefully that'll be all that I need. So this here is just sort of going to go, it's not going to be huge around the back, actually. Here's a CAD model of my design. And yeah, it kicks up a bit, but that's so I can mount. I'm going to mount the reverse light into the back of it in the center. And then I think I'm going to mount the high brake light into the back of this guy. So that will look kind of cool with like one light here, one light here-ish. Now I don't want to cover too much up because the idea of this car is that it's pretty exposed and open from the back. But it is going to sort of sit around here somewhere. So what I've done is I've sliced up my CAD model into all these little profiles. And I have some bits of rod and some flat bar to join them together just by simply sliding them on there so i got it to this stage and then i needed something to hold it up so i built these cool aluminium supports profile cut them out and how good does that look with them holding that up there, the make it making the back feel a little bit more filled out, so I can uh, then start building the sides off it. Now this is what I did for the sides. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of it, but I used some six mil steel rod and bent it around until I had each side symmetrical, which took quite a bit of work. To the symmetry was the tricky part, but man, does it look good as it is. So then I went and stretched some material over top of it and in the concave bits I actually pinned it down with some wee bits of wire and put some fiberglass resin over top to make it go hard. Just epoxy resin and this was a really good base for me to start building this part off. So then from here I put a whole lot of plaster, just the same plaster you use in a house and built it up over some time it was actually like looks like it happens really fast here but i'd have to come out sand it and add a bit more leave it overnight and then come out sand a bit more and eventually i got it to a point where i was pretty happy with it
Alrighty, so now I'm ready to start glassing the back end. I'm, I've got it all in shape, but it is a little rougher than I've done it in the past. Like when I made those guards and did it in the same way, I really got them pretty good. And then ended up having to do a whole lot of work because of the way that I'm building just a one-off part anyway. So with these ones, you might see there's a f few wee bits like this where it's a wee bit... Wee bit bumpy, but not really. Um, I know that the solid shape of it is good, um, but I didn't go into spending hours sanding that finishing stuff when I'm going to have to do it again on top of the fiberglass anyway. So I'm just going to send it from here and hopefully it works out all right. It should still release okay. I mean, I'm going to break up that frame on the inside anyway, so that shouldn't matter too much. I'm pretty happy with how it's all sort of locating. There's quite a big gap above the wheel, but I'm not too worried about that. As you can see from the last videos of the front end, I have actually opened the front up more. So then when the wheel is turning, it's not going to... And if I was turning and I had a bump, it's not going to smash my guard. So I've got a good gap there now. So I don't have to worry about smashing that. And it kind of makes the back match a wee bit more. So, and the, the main thing I've been focusing on is sort of the rear view, making sure either side sort of look the same, uh, because that's going to be critical, that's going to be really obvious if they're off. I'm pretty happy with them, and it all sort of lines up with the front too. Now, looking in from here, it looks like it's really exposed, but just remember that that radiator goes in there and it has that arc. There, there they are there has that arc that sort of comes over the wheel, so it'll actually fill in quite a lot more on the inside. Now, the front, I've got it very, very similar to the other side, but the idea of this is the fiberglass is actually going to hook over this and over here, and its attachment points are going to be back in there, so I can sort of just sort of plonk these things on and they hook over the top, so... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't work, I'll cut it and I'll add some some tabs. But I'd like to like not have like fixings here, obvious. So I'm going to have to do a bit of uh, covering up of the body and stuff. So then I don't get fiberglass everywhere. But um, I don't really, I can't really pick these things off and put them on. I kind of have to fiberglass them on there. So that that's a little bit uh, annoying, but it just is what it is, and I'm sure I'll get it. So yeah. Now that you sort of know my attack, I'm going to jump in and see how I get on today. Obviously going to have to do all the waxing and um, PVA release and stuff first, just to help release that stuff in, in the future. But yeah, let's do it. So now we've gone and got that done and I was going to put micro beads on top But this thing's actually come out really Really close to how it needs to be so I'm pretty happy And I'm probably what I'm going to do next is trim around the outside to tidy it up and then I might start hitting it with some gel coat Gel coat it up get it nice and thick. Uh, I'm going to do all that before I take it off this time so Hopefully it'll mean it'll be a bit harder when I pull it off. So I'm a little concerned, like it's such a big long piece there, but this is actually going to be in three separate pieces. So it's going to be sort of cut through here, right where this little fin is here. And that'll be where that joins, because I want to be able to pick the spoiler off easily to be able to work on everything, get it out of the way. So that's tonight's goal. I'm going to trim around it then I'm going to get out the gel coat get a couple at least a couple of decent layers on and see where I end up and now I've gone along and put a flow coat over the top flow coat is like gel coat but it doesn't need a layer on the outside to set up it will just sit nicely like that 
So now I'm just going to shoot over. I've got some like little high spots from uh, the just like run sort of things and a couple of wee bits where like some fiberglass was poking up and I just got to knock all them off. Across the back of the wing, I think it's not too bad, but it might be slightly hollow at this end. So I'm going to come back in and I'll be able to block that down and fill it if I have to and block it again and I'll get that mint. So hopefully this thing will come off the mould. It's feeling like it will. Like if I pull in some spots, it sort of opens up. So that's a good sign. And I am probably going to trim it, like I said in that other video, through there. And that'll make it way easier to pop them off because I'll just better do them one piece at a time instead of trying to pull it all off as one unit because otherwise it'll be a pain in the butt to do that all the time. So yeah, that's what you're going to see me do now. I'm going to sand it out and then maybe cut it, maybe do some more filling on it first. We'll see how I go. That was a bit of a mission. I made the cut and pulled the guards off. Now, when I pulled them off, it actually pulled the material away from the frame, which actually worked out really nice. And then I just had to smash all that stuff there out of the back. Then I went and soaked it a bit, but I kind of wanted it to happen tonight so I can do the next step tonight. So I ended up getting into it with a wire brush and wire brushing that stuff off. Normally I just leave it to soak and that PVA dissolves and then I can just like scrape it all out but um yeah i just wanted to get it done so i can get on to the next bit of fiberglass reinforcement and i just got it done so now that that there is sitting there quite nice i've got a whole lot of tidying i need to do these things but they pick off nice and easy and it's working good i've also come in and fiberglassed this piece of alloy with all these holes that's nice and strong up in here so then i can mount this tail light up in here and at the same time, I have fiberglass, this aluminium panel that comes down the inside of the car, and that's going to be where I can attach it in, in back here, so I can, I'll can, i have a couple of pickups there. I'm going to trim it back on an angle to sort of match this so you can't, you can't see it there like that. So I'm going to trim that, that's my next job. step you just seen me weld up the aluminium underside now it's come out pretty good I've tacked this bar in here and I'm potentially gonna come along and cut it out once I have the frame bonded to the wing so what I've done is I've gone along and I've actually zip tied these tabs to make sure it pulls up nicely on there and then I'm going to come in and on these other tabs, I'm going to fiberglass them down to bond them to the wing. And then from there, I can do some uh, tidying up and make it look good and sort of make it so it uh, nicely fits into these. And then what I'm going to do is then cut those zip ties off, ditch them all, and then I'll just fill that back from the top again when I smooth the top out. And that should be pretty easy. So. That's where I'm at. Oh, I've welded that in as well, so that's that's permanently welded. That'll be good. So hopefully it bonds down and it holds it all in line and nice. And then I can build it up because I kind of need a bit of a lip on this back edge here to make it look right because that looks horrible with that sharp edge. So I used some spray foam to create an edge around this wing so then it was like a nice curved thing. So what I did is I sprayed this on and then I come back and cut it down, sanded it up into shape and then fiberglassed over the top. And that was actually a really nice way to get the part that I wanted. I wish that I, oh, I mean, it's cool, but I wish that I hadn't kept it exposed like this. If I had just made like a normal wing and have it all closed in, it would have been so much easier. But by having those fins 
exposed. I really like the look of it. So I think all the extra work was worthwhile. And as you can see, I put some tabs on the side and put Lexan on the sides of the car. So this is going to be clear, probably tinted. And I won't be pulling that tint off for a long time. But with the sides on and the firewall and everything, this car is really starting to come to shape. And I'm so stoked with how it looks. So please let me know what you reckon. Uh, the next stage is going to be tidying these up and, and doing some more works to these and getting them their final color and all that sort of stuff. So hang around for that. It's going to look 10 times better than it does right now. It's just feeling that much closer to being ready for the road. Thanks, Heats, for watching. Keep your eyes out for the next episode. And we'll see you soon.